Now we gonna see the second most important component uh, concept called protocols. Now protocols are exactly same as interface in Java. But the only difference in protocol and Java interface in Java is that protocol can have an optional method. Java all methods are required. So if a class implements any in protocol, uh, sorry, an interface, it has to implement all its method. Whereas in protocol, it's not the case. Now, how do we declare protocol? We say protocol followed by protocol name. Obviously, protocol can have inheritance. It's a virtual inheritance super protocol not necessary but you can have by default default all methods are required but it can have the optional clause where you can declare all the optional methods at the rate end indicates end of the book. Now suppose a class interf suppose in Java if we had a class called vehicle extends say ns object it would implement protocol name right similarly in objective C we would have written this way we write this way at the rate interface vehicle colon NS object confirms the protocol. Obviously, you can have multiple protocols with comma separated. Now, protocol or the interface in Java are becomes a backbone of your callback mechanism, and callbacks are the backbone of a message passing system where the mm, people perform or the object perform the task asynchronously, and the caller calls the colleague object to perform some task and a call in each to use interface mechanism to interrupt the caller saying I am done with my work. So protocol becomes uh, the interface in a pure vir virtual class in C++ are uh, becomes the most important part of your feedback mechanism in asynchronous execution and objective C being the runtime language it relies a lot more on protocol declaration than any other language when you start coding and when you go to the level 2 of this course tutorial you will see everything is protocol oriented protocol looks simple but they are the really flexible line of codes which makes your code more flexible it makes your application more dynamic and it is where you can have a lot of gestures or you can make your app more responsive and all. So protocol becomes a backbone in terms when you want to pass the functional flow from one class to another and you want to perform asynchronous of task simultaneously. So for theory purpose, we are just confirming how to declare the protocol and how to confirm it. That's it. Rest everything we'll be seeing when we want to implement using the use cases. Thank you. So this is the end of the theory session of Objective-C. We have learned um, enough of theory to start off with our first application development on the iPhone and iPad platform. I know you guys are excited. I am too excited to reveal my practical tutorials. So after this you have done, I know it was a bit of boring, a lot of theory concepts. Trust me, just go through one of these concepts and then when you start seeing the application development live in these tutorials, you want to understand making the app more concrete. So our tutorial is not like the other online tutorial where we have drag and drop. We are more towards the architect level. We want people to make a good app which is can exist for five more years, you know, to create the mobile solutions. You know, because mobile industry is just started off and it will be a big, big boom in coming years. And I want when a boom happens, you are in a position to create any level of application, you know. So our tutorial is basically more on towards the coding and less on a drag and drop because once you become familiar with the coding, going to a drag and drop tutorials will be like a one day task, but the reverse way you have to start all 
again from scratch so our main purpose is not to create small application i want my people to create big application big means big application thank you